Published 1749 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of March 2018. Updated 1826 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of March 2018. Scott Quigg's bid to become a two-weight world champion ended on the scales here in Los Angeles after he weighed in 2.8 pounds above the featherweight limit. Quigg, the former WBA regular super bantamweight champion, was hoping to upset heavy favorite Oscar Valdez to clinch the WBO featherweight title at the StubHub Center on Saturday but he is now unable to win the belt regardless of what he does in the ring after coming in overweight, Scott Quigg, right, saw a bid to become a two-weight world champ end on the scales on Friday. Quigg, considered one of the most diligent fighters in the sport when it comes to weight making, insists he was well on course to tip the scales inside the 126 pounds featherweight limit. However, it became apparent late on Thursday night that his usual weight making procedure was not working. He said, I've still got to try and figure out how this has happened. Yesterday I was only three pounds over but it just wouldn't budge. I've tried everything and I apologize to Oscar and his team. I'm at a loss to explain why this has happened. Valdez would have been well within his rights to have cancelled the fight altogether given Quig was so far over the limit. California's boxing rules state that if a fighter is more than two pounds over, he is not allowed any time to try and get the weight off. It means Valdez, who has a perfect 23-0 record with 19 inside the distance, will now be facing a man with a weight advantage. Quick challenges WBO featherweight King Oscar Valdez on Saturday night in Los Angeles but Eddie Hearn defended Quig and said that he still has much to gain in victory despite not being able to claim the title. He said, anyone in boxing knows that Scott Quigg is the most disciplined and dedicated fighter out there, the guy has a diary of everything he's ever eaten and every workout he's had in his entire career. The ultimate responsibility lies with the fighter but when the process becomes dangerous enough is enough, we made the decision not to continue Sir Scott can be fit and healthy for a war against Valdez, obviously it's disappointing that. The title is not on the line for Scott but victory still puts him in the driving seat in the featherweight division, Quig, pictured during a loss to Carl Frampton in 2016, weighed in over the featherweight limit.